Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and power on the Kaposi hair straightener. So let's first remove the translucent wrapper from the box. Okay, so that's the wrapper removed from the box. And let's take a quick look around the outside of the box. So there are some warnings and of course the specifications for the Kaposi hair straightener. And now let's go ahead and open up the box. So we do that by sliding the card sleeve off and just making sure that there's nothing else inside the sleeve. And we can set the sleeve up there. And so that's the Kaposi hair straightener in the middle of the frame. Now let's go ahead and pop it out from the box. And setting it down. So that's the Kaposi hair straightener with its tray insert removed from the box. So there is some papers inside it appears to be a user manual so let me set the contents out and pop the hair straightener out from its tray right there putting the tray to the side and let's get the straightener to face towards the camera or camcorder and of course the operating instructions as well. So laying it all on the table and in the middle of the frame right there. And just making some minor adjustments. Okay, so let's first start off by taking a look at the operating instructions for the Kaposi hair straightener. So there is a customer support or contact details for them at the rear of the booklet or instruction manual. So the instructions for the use of the Kaposi hair straightener is covered in several languages and just doing a quick flip through of the user manual or operating instructions. So it seems simple enough, obviously. I haven't had a chance to read it. I'm just flipping it through. And it's just way too small to be reading the details or instructions on the tiny LCD of my camcorder. But there we go. A user manual for the hair straightener. Let's set that to one side now. And then we can go ahead and take a quick look at the hair straightener by, let's first remove the translucent wrapper from it. So there we go, once again. So that's the Kaposi hair straightener. So let's start off at the plug end. So it's nice to see, three pin plug here with protective caps on the pins. Okay, let's set the cap to one side. And then moving up the length of the cable, there is a hook and loop or Velcro cable tie. Let's release the cable or cord. And then giving you a 
look at the cable length or cord length in the frame. So that should give you some idea of the cable length or cord length of the power cord. Right, so it is pretty thick. Okay, and so moving up to the hair straightener itself. So this is the Kaposi hair straightener. Making a little adjustment in the background right there. So it does have a nice weight to it. And size-wise, just giving you an all-round look of the hair straightener. So it does have PTC heating, so it is a ceramic heater with six levels of heating from 130 degrees Celsius to a maximum of 200 degrees Celsius, so six heating levels. Now, giving you a close-up look at the details of the hair straightener. So there is a heating level indicator right there, showing degrees Celsius on the right-hand side and degrees Fahrenheit on the left-hand side. And then the indicator level will light up when turned on. And then, of course, there's the increase and decrease for the heating levels and a power on-off button as well. So it seems fairly simple to operate with the three buttons there and just giving you close-up aspects and the details of the hair straightener. So you can see the heating fins for the brush type hair straightener. And in terms of material, it is made out of plastic. So it does have a plastic construction and even the grip or handle for the hair straightener is plastic as well, even though it may look slightly rubbery or grippy in texture, it is plastic right there. So it has a nice weight to it. And once again, giving you a close-up look at the fins of the hair straightener. So a brush type hair straightener. And once again, showing you close-up details so you can see the kind of application style of the hair straightener right there. So triangular fins and used in a brush style format. Okay, so once again, nice good overall look from slightly further away now. And grip wise, you can see, giving you a kind of good view or some perspective with the Kaposi hair straightener.
in my hand and it feels rather natural in terms of grip and the weight does feel nice and solid and just trying to get the plug in view as well so there we go A nice, good look, close up. And from slightly further away. Of the brush style hair straightener. So six heating levels from 130 degrees Celsius all the way to a maximum of 200. So overall, plastic construction and let's press on the buttons obviously it's not plugged in yet but let's go ahead and press on them so you hear the actuation or clicking of them so let's start off with the power on off button right there so nice and very direct feeling the minus button or decrease button and the plus or increase button so they are recessed so you don't accidentally press onto them when you're using the hair straightener okay so in terms of the cord or cable it's nice to see that the hair straightener is fully rotatable so you won't have any kind of unnecessary tension and full freedom of use Okay, so now let's go ahead and plug in the hair straightener. And of course, let's now hit the power on off button. Right there, just a light touch and you can see the indicator with six levels blinking away there. And being careful when trying to assess the heat level of the Kaposi hair straightener. Giving you a close up look. It does have a nice kind of faint lavender color on the LED level indicator so it is cool to the touch as I've only just turned it on and let's see what happens if we press on the plus and you can see the number of lit up bars increase we have four solid with one blinking and pressing it again, five solid with one blinking. So we are now at the maximum level with six bars lit up. 
So now I can feel the warmth coming out from the heating element of the hair straightener. So giving you a look there. So it is completely silent, as you can hear, there's no hum or buzz. And I can definitely feel the heat now from the brush fins of the hair straightener. So the very top indicator is now solid, indicating that it is now fully heated up. And I'm actually resting very gently the hair straightener on my fingers and there is a slight warmth. So it is quite safe to use, um, obviously not for resting the hair straightener on my hand, but in terms of if you were to accidentally grip it or rest it on a surface, it's not going to do any direct damage or instant immediate damage. There we go, a nice good look at the Kibosi hair straightener. And of course, when if you're gripping it, brushing your hair, so nice, good grip there. And the handle is cool to touch, so no heat at all behind this white part. Well, it's not white, but it's a faint pink, I beg your pardon. And I can feel it is slightly hotter, but it is still completely safe to rest the hair straightener in my hand right there. So obviously the heating is between the fins. And of course we can lower the temperature or the heating level all the way down to the single 130 degree indicator right there lowest level there is if you do have very fine or light hair and for anything else in between for denser hair you increase the levels and if you do have very strong thick hair then you more than likely be using the maximum setting right there at 200 degrees Celsius. You can see that the levels are fully solid Whereas during the startup, when we turn the hair straightener on, we would see the current level blinking away, indicating that it is heating up to that level. But now it is ready for all levels, nice and hot. And turn it all the way down.
and I can feel it getting slightly cooler now at the lowest level. So it does respond reasonably quickly with the adjustments of the six heating levels. So it is still on, yet it is still fairly safe to touch around the sides, not so much the back. I can really feel the heat on the back side of the hair straightener. With the fin side, it is safe enough to touch briefly. And let's see if it does memorize the settings. So you can see that we were on a lower level right now and now raising the heat level back up. It needs to warm up to that level again, showing you the kind of response in raising and lowering the heating. So it does respond and make those adjustments very quickly. So it cools down just as quickly as it heats up. So just giving you a look again right there. And let's see if it will memorize the heat level or setting. So we've now raised it back up to the maximum. If we were to turn it off, will it start at the maximum level? Let's find out. So just a light touch there turns the hair straightener off. And let's turn it back on. And it starts with four levels. So no memory in terms of last setting used. Let's try that again. So if we lower it to two bars, turn it off, and now turn it back on, it always starts at the medium setting with four bars. So that's the Kaposi hair straightener. Thanks for watching and happy straightening.